Erica is asking, in recent years, the Indo-Fijian and Hindu-Fijian minority citizens of, in Fiji have reportedly faced discrimination from the Christian majority, especially over rights to own land. Some politicians and religious leaders have even called for banning other religions. So how can peaceful coexistence be maintained and violence like that, what like like what happened in previous coups be avoided? Well, this is an, ex well, first of all, uh, this is something I wasn't aware of. I don't really know much about Fiji at all. Uh, besides, it looks pretty down there. Um, but uh, obviously calling for the banning of other religions is something we completely oppose and stand against. Brave position to take, I know. <laughs> um <laughs> And um, so how can peaceful coexistence be maintained and the violence um, preventing, you know, what happened during previous coups be avoided? Frankly, I don't know enough uh, in detail about the goings on of Fiji to be able to give an in-depth answer. I feel like that's something that's very variable for different regions and different groups. Um, like, I imagine there may be some socioeconomic factors that impact these groups in different ways. That likely influences how they interact with each other. And um, I mean, the answer is easy. Just give a, get rid of religion. Like, <laughs> just like promote atheism, uh, promote secularism. That's all. That's the answer. Like, I, I mean, OK, so when it comes to Fiji, right, I don't know much about Fiji, I, but I could tell you I, I used to date a hindu fijian so there's that okay oh interesting uh, yeah and their family was also very anti-muslim so there's that I, I mean they just wanted to make sure i'm not a muslim right they didn't care that i'm not a hindu when i because they were they didn't care that a hindu is like dating like a non-hindu is dating their uh, their daughter because i i was born in iran so they wanted to just make 100 percent sure that i'm not a muslim as long as i'm not a muslim I did, they didn't know what atheist, whatever that is. Like I, and they also wanted to make sure, like I, they also wanted to check that I, I used to be a Muslim. They were like, "Well, are you gonna go back to being a Muslim?" Like I was like, "No," right? So they're like, but that was that was like very important for them. But other than that, uh, it was pretty okay, right? Um, um, so I mean, it's interesting how you see like from a community that is facing discrimination, um, from Christians, but they're still like they still have that anti-muslim discrimination still built within their you know way of thinking even though they're they they themselves are a subject of discrimination but yeah i mean it's the solution to all of this is just to like promote promote you know promote atheism i think promote well i think that's very just reductionistic i know you're joking i think no i'm not they probably need no, much no, no. stronger it's not no, that not simple. Like you need strong mind protections for minority rights as well. Yes, but yes, I know. But over the long term, it needs to the change needs to be from bottom up. Okay, like you need to if you if you fight against religion, even if people don't become irreligious, it will have an effect on people taking religion seriously, right? So I'm not saying people should like the expectation is for everybody to leave their religion. But if you promote a, a, a culture where atheism is part of the people's vocabulary, is like or and secularism is a, a, is an ideal that people are like pushing for, even if people don't leave their religion, that level of competition will make people take their religion less seriously, right? So it is. It is like I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm. Are we being reductive? Yeah, for good reason because it works. It works, <laughs> right? So there, yeah. I mean, it has worked everywhere. Everywhere, when, when people's religiosity has reduced, these problems have become less. So if I'm being reductive, it's because I've seen the results. Well, I don't know much about this conflict, but I doubt that it can. it's exclusively a religious conflict. Nobody suggested that. Okay, like no. When we say um, lack of, but it, obviously, religion is part of the problem here, right? Not nothing is ever just because of religion. Okay, like very few things are just because of religion. But obviously, if we have Christians oppressing Hindus, I'm pretty. It's pretty safe to say that religion is part of the calculation here. 
and a less of a religion will help things a lot okay and nothing when i say help it doesn't mean it's going to be eliminated. It doesn't mean it's going to be completely go away. I'm just saying that it will definitely, definitely be part of the part of the things that will contribute to making things better. That's what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Yeah. Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Abhabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.